Kimberly and I'm an instructor at the Elkridge DIY Center. Today we're going to be making a DIY upcycled project, turning trash into treasure, old t-shirts into grocery totes. So this is what we're going to be making today. This is the no sew design so you won't have to do anything with a sewing machine or by hand. It's just cutting and tying. As you can see at the bottom here there will be fringe. However, you can opt to do it a different way. You can have it and tie it on the inside so that it will look like this. And then your bottom will look like that instead of having the fringe on the outside. It'll just have the ties on the bottom. Um, go ahead and we'll grab your supplies. Here's what you'll need. The materials that we'll need for this project are pretty simple. You just need the t-shirt that you wish to upcycle, some fabric scissors, and a ruler if you'd like. So we're going to start off by laying the project flat and cutting off the sleeves and the bottom hem. So we're going to cut off the sleeves and I'm just going to follow along with the hem about a half an inch in. I'm doing it really slow so that I don't end up with a bunch of snags or weird shapes. So following along with the hem. Then we're gonna do it on the other side. Do the same. Then we're going to cut off the hem. Same way, we're cutting through two layers of fabric at the same time, the front of the shirt and the back of the shirt. Just gonna go slow so that we have nice, even cut line. Now we can do this with jersey fabric t-shirts because the material doesn't unravel. Um, other materials may not work as well. So here we are. Now we're going to cut off the collar. Now for the collar, because I want both sides to be even, I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. You have to be sure that it's straight. And I'm going to make sure that I don't cut into my graphic. I do want to keep that on there. That's why I chose this shirt. And the front and the back collar are different lengths. So we're gonna cut them off at the same time to make it the same. We're looking for like a quarter circle or quarter oval here, kind of a shape. This is gonna be the opening at the top of the bag. Uh, gotta be extra slow cutting through more material layers. Let's see here, we've gotten through the collar. Okay, now we're gonna see how that bag is gonna look. So go ahead and take this chance to test it out, see if that's gonna be good for you, if that's a big enough opening, if you want the arm holes slash handles to be any wider. Take a look at that, see if you need any adjustments. Is this gonna be big enough for you to put your things in? Is that big enough for you to hold on your arm? Those kind of things. And after that, we're, you need to decide if you want the ties on the inside or the outside. So here's one more time for an example. The ties are gonna be on the inside on this one. 
and the ties are going to be on the outside for this kind of a design. So if you do want the ties on the inside, which for this one I'm going to do the ties on the inside, at this point what you'll do is you will turn your entire project inside out and go ahead and line everything up so that it's the way it was before and then we will start cutting the ties. All right, I went ahead and put this background down so you can see a little easier what I'm doing. Sorry about cutting a brown shirt on a brown table. So this is where you can use your ruler if you want. I'm going to cut the ties about one inch wide, and then I'm going to cut them between four and five inches tall. So if you want to be exact, you can do it like that. And also this is your project. So you can cut the ties thinner if you want like a smaller fringe. Um, this is especially if you are going to be having the ties shown on the outside and then you can cut them thicker if you want a thicker fringe. So I'm going to be doing about one inch. So. And then this first one, you're going to also have to split down the side. So just get your scissors in there and cut straight up the side so that you can tie those two end pieces together. And you will repeat that again on this side. So just go ahead and finish doing the same thing all the way down across your shirt. sure you're cutting both sides at the same time so make sure that that under layer is staying down Set of ties. Now we can tie our bag. So we're going to start out tying the first part, first two together, and then we're going to take the bottom one from this one and the bottom one from this one, and we're going to tie these two together once. Take the top one from that other side, tie it together with this top one. Once. Twice. Now what we're doing is we're going to be closing these gaps in between. Every time we pick a new one, we're gonna tie it once to the one, we're gonna tie it once together, and then once to the one ones before. So as we continue tying, you can tie the front half and the bo bottom half once together, and then tie them each side, the top and the bottom, to the ones before. Tighten it up, just closing any gaps along the way. Okay, 
will also cinch your bag a little bit to the bottom. And that's okay. This last one we're gonna go ahead and tie if you are doing this on the other way you can always cut this tag off if it's at the bottom but since this is going to be on the inside of my bag I don't really care that it's inside and it also will help me when I'm trying to wash it so we're gonna go ahead and tie this to one of the ones next to it check for any holes and if there are I just take two of the ties on either side of the hole and tie them together so that's the bottom of this bag if you have a bigger shirt obviously you will have a longer fringe than me so for this one we're gonna turn it back right side out. So then we just take our tote and if you've tied the ties on the inside just turn it in right side out again. There you have a reusable washable t-shirt tote. So this is a really great way to use up any t-shirts that have a fun little graphic design on the front or a pattern um, and then this is how the bottom looks it's cinched up kind of like a bag and you can see that it's got a fun little pattern in there even though we just we're making ties i hope you stay tuned i'm going to show you next in the series um, how to make a little bit of sewing t-shirt tote that will lie the other way so that so this one lies with the handles and the bag flat against your body. And then there's another one that has a little bit of sewing, but a lot of cutting that can be used as like a produce bag. So when it, you put things in it, it expands and you can see all the holes. So stay tuned for those projects coming up and have a great day.